Now, by now, I think you've learned that Moira never disappoints when she steps into the espresso kitchen. And today, she brings us another classic. It's a twist on a favourite old recipe. We are making chakalaka beef and lentil lasagna. <laughs> All right, so where do we begin? All right, so, um, yes, lasagna is a very good family favourite. I'm mm. going to show you along the way if they want to... If they, if some people find lasagna sheets a bit expensive. They can use pasta or um, other cheaper ingredients to, to make the same effect. But accessible. let's make the mm. mince. All right. Now, this is a, a favourite for me because... Um, uh, so some people don't add enough flavour into it, and I'm all full of flavour. Mm. So the chakalaka gives it a lot of flavour. So we've already got some got onion in there, on the um, mm. and we've put garlic in there. We're going to put some um, red and green peppers. Nice. Just get the rest of it. And I'm going to add a bit of stock in there just so that you don't, so it doesn't burn. Sure. To give it a little bit of moisture. I'm adding in some leeks as well. Okay. Now you'll find that that's the only veggies I'm going to add. And the okay. carrots and all of that are in the chakalaka already. Comes ready made. Correct. I love that. Correct. Mm. So what I'm doing there, we just braising it a little bit, uh, just to soften the vegetables. And then we're going to add in some beef mince. Oh, now, nice. you can use lamb mince or you can use chicken mince. I'm using beef because that's the most okay. traditional. Or a bit of a mix. Or a bit yeah. of a mixture. Some people like to add bacon in to enrich it and mm. to get that extra flavour going in. All right. And while you're browning that, we just want to brown them. And so I'm going to add in the cooked tomato paste. Nice. And this obviously adds colour and gives a boost of, of tomato flavour. It's, mm. it's a concentrated paste. And, and I understand it also acts as a bit of a thickener as well. Um, yes, it, it can in do. In sauces, which is and, interesting you know, to me. If you add in chopped tomatoes, it adds in a lot of moisture. And we're getting mm. moisture already from our chakalaka. Oh, that's looking so lovely. So you're browning mm. it really, really nicely there. This is a chocolate with butternut. Now, they're different variants. So whatever you've got in your cupboard, use. They all will add in that, that extra flavour. But I pretend, specifically like the butternut one because it um, has got that sweetness and all the yeah. veggies in there. And you can see all the veggies going in into the pot. And it's actually hiding it for oh. those kids or problem adults that, <laughs> that don't eat vegetables. You're getting a little bit of nutrition going in there. Well, I love I think that's what chocolate is all about, the sweet and the sour. Correct. You want to have those two mixes. So I love the butter. We're going tradition. to add in some cinnamon, some ground cinnamon. Clever. Um, the cinnamon just brings out all the flavours of the vegetables and, and with the meat. Oh, I and you could smell this. Some mm. Italian herb, some dried Very Italian nice. herb. And Italian herbs just a mixture of herbs. I prefer Italian to mixed herbs. It's just a different combination of, of herbs used. And I'm adding in some beef stock because you want it a little bit more saucy. Yeah. If you don't have beef stock, use chicken stock. Chicken stock gives a really lovely flavour as well. And obviously you want this meat to absorb a lot you of that moisture and the flavour as well, yeah. We're going to add in a little bit of sugar mm -hmm. just to balance out um, the acidity levels. Um, if you're worried about the sugar, don't leave it out. And okay. some fresh basil. Oh, very Just nice. to, to add to the Italian herbs we've already used, it brings out all the different flavours. It really is fusion at its best. And eh? some salt, and obviously my favourite black pepper. Mince has to have black pepper in. It's really lovely. If you don't have coarse black pepper, use white pepper. You'll you'll get the you'll get. Oh, um, and look at that, and, and it, it keeps that chaka like a look as well, which Correct. I love. You know, so the very quickly, variant. we'll bring that to the boil. We'll add in the the cool lentils. Remember, these are cooked already, so it's saving you a lot of time, and it adds to the nutrition of of the mince. Mm. Again, getting in that extra protein, the extra vitamins, and that's really your mixture. Wow. So, so you'd let that simmer. You'd let it simmer, mm. and then once it's 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 come to the boil and simmer, and your meat is cooked, you'd you'd come over and you'd lay your pasta. So oh. I've already right. got one done already, so if we want to move over. Not so, the fun part. The fun part. <laughs> so we've got our little oven dish and our lasagna sheet. So now if you wanted to make a cheaper, get pasta and cook it, and you'd layer it the Just same way, and it works out cheaper. Whatever, yeah. But I like using the, the spinach lasagna, and if you wanted to stop it curling, you would dip it into some water, and then you layer it, and it just stops ah, it from curling very, when it I was bakes. going to ask, because mine normally comes out you know, <laughs> looking like a boat. Um. Well, it just looks nice and wholesome <laughs> and homemade. There's nothing wrong with it, but I just yeah, thought I'd just share. Rustic, we call yeah. it on the show. Rustic, yeah. But I put a little bit of mince at the bottom. It stops the pasta from actually um, sticking to the bottom. Some people okay. put white sauce on. I just found that the, the flour in the white sauce actually dries it out a little okay. bit. So I put a little bit of mince to actually keep the moisture there. Oh, very okay. nice. And then you'd layer it. Beautiful. I mean, it's very. you can do as many layers as you want. Uh, um, it's, it just depends. I, I often like three layers of, of pasta because it, it actually helps it. Get your money's worth, yeah. Correct. <laughs> so then I just put a little bit of white sauce on top of that. To make it mm. creamy, 
and then we put another layer of pasta, then mince, and then... And just keep stacking it. Stack keep it stacking. till the sky! Mm. We absolutely love these flavours, love this traditional twist. Well, let's go through a bit of a step-by-step -step to see how we arrived at this end result here. And, of course, if you'd like these ingredients to play along with us, all you've got to do is SMS the keyword coup to 33728, and we'll send you a link to that recipe list, and it'll arrive directly on your phone. It's going to cost you a buck fifty for that SMS. But let's take um, a look at a little step-by-step -step as to how we arrived at this beautiful stack of deliciousness. <laughs> Saute onion and garlic until fragrant. Add leeks, peppers and mince, stirring until browned. Add tomato paste, chakalaka, lentils, chicken stock, mixed spice, herbs, sugar and pepper. Simmer for 30 minutes. Layer mince, pasta sheets and white sauce into an oven dish. Top with cheddar and parmesan. Bake for 55 minutes. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword KU to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs, T's and C's apply. And that keyword again, KU to 33728. Oh, Moira, you're a star. <laughs> that came uh, up perfectly. See, I thought yeah? I'd look after you as soon as you love it so much. <laughs> so we've just taken out a slice for you um, of the lasagna. Um, it's just been standing for a little bit after it's been in the oven. Just and you settled. Mm. And you serve it with some garlic bread and all the nice green salad. Just depends on what your choice is. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Maybe, guys, you have your own traditional spin on an old family favourite, and you can share your recipes with us by emailing them to food at expressoshow.com. I'm going to do the honour of a little taste test. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Superb! <laughs> <laughs> Only the best cooks serve Koo, because they know it's carefully grown and made with meticulous attention. So when you serve Koo, you can trust you serving only the best.